Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Well friends, Ginkgo is at it again. They have another alliance and I'm going to talk about that in this very brief video. Um, all of these things may end up uh, benefiting uh, Ginkgo in the long run. Um, it's all building blocks getting together. Uh, so uh, let's get started with this one. Welcome back friends. Ginkgo Bioworks and the International Livestock Research Institute or ILRI have signed a memorandum of understanding to collaborate to design a biosurveillance and pathogen testing program. The company said yesterday uh, that they have got together uh, in order to form an alliance and uh, the International Livestock uh, Research Institute has got a background which I think we need to appreciate in order to understand the value of this um, uh, alliance. Uh, ILRI is a research organization dedicated to improving the livestock uh, related livelihood uh, in developing countries. Uh, it was established in 1994 as a merger of the International Livestock Center for Africa which was ILCA and the International uh, Laboratory for Research on Animal Diseases. ILRAD. So ILRI conducts research uh, to enhance food security, reduce poverty and uh, promote sustainable development by addressing challenges related to livestock production, health and environmental sustainability. So it has got a significant responsibility and ILRI's research uh, has the potential uh, to positively impact the lives of millions of people in developing countries who depend on livestock for livelihoods. By improving livestock productivity, health and sustainability, ILRI uh, contributes to poverty reduction, food security and sustainable development, especially uh, in the developing parts of the world. Under the current collaboration, Ginkgo Biosecurity and Public Health Unit Concentric will work with ILRI to identify and mitigate pathogens and diseases uh, that uh, originate in animals and livestock. Concentric and ILRI also plan to create sequencing based activities for pathogen identification and characterization and bioinformatics support. The company, uh, the companies got together uh, and um, one of the big uh, messages for us investors would be that uh, if an organization like ILRI which has been uh, dedicated to a wide range of activities to in, uh, ensure food security and uh, help uh, uh, retain animal uh, livestock for farmers in developing countries has decided to go to the next level uh, in technology and has selected Ginkgo Bioworks to be a partner in that. That means Ginkgo Bioworks has got an international reputation and uh, leading organizations are willing to tie up with it. So uh, for as always, uh, the financial terms were not disclosed as yet, but we'll find out sooner rather than later. And Ginkgo is already working in areas such as crop protection, crop nutrition, animal health and wellness, as well as carbon solution and uh, trade discovery. We already know that Concentric is expanding its uh, global reach by tying up with various governments for uh, biosecurity uh, and um, so, in my opinion, as the biosecurity business expands globally through Concentric to monitor pandemics, uh, similar efforts are also taking off uh, with regard to crop security and animal security. I think the industry is still in the infancy and uh, plenty of growth is ahead of it as it ties up with subsequent governments in various areas of operation. However, to see uh, the big numbers in uh, DNA in terms of uh, huge turnover, uh, uh, good uh, rate of return and great EPS, uh, we need to survive the current economic environment. I think that for the economic conditions to resolve itself, we are looking at one and a half to two years uh, at least. And after that, most promising companies will do great. And um, uh, I think DNA will also benefit from that. And the trick for investors would be to do appropriate diversification on their portfolio and also keep cash handy uh, to buy on dips. Well, uh, that's my personal opinion, of course, and it's not financial advice. So friends, please do your own due diligence uh, before making any investments in stocks. And um, uh, that's the thought for today, my friends. Uh, I'll be back with you with the next video very soon. Bye for now.